Welcome back to Green is Good. This is the Go Green edition of Green is Good. And we are absolutely so honored to have with us Erica Dickey Nelson. She's the president and founder of Go Green Conferences. Welcome to Green is Good. Thanks for having me. This is such, listen, we're so honored to be here. So thank you again personally. The show is just wonderful to be able to be broadcast from here in downtown Seattle. The, the guests that you have here are just spectacular. One of the greatest conferences in sustainability we've ever been at. Oh, so, great. So thank, thank you. You, thank you know, for our, for our audience members that have, haven't had a chance to get to know you ever before, Erica, share a little bit. How did you even come to found this great organization and get excited about sustainability? So my company, Social Enterprises, has always um, been doing large social cause events. Yeah. We work with nonprofits, but there was a real need for sustainability education way back in 2008. So we've actually, we we, um, worked with the city of Portland. We met with them. They asked us, you know, what do you need from us to make this happen? And so it was really, truly um, a a meeting of the minds between the public and private sectors. And you started this in 2008? 2008 in Portland. Wow. It's our eighth year in Portland, our sixth year in Seattle. And we've been in Austin. Phoenix, New York. And in 2015, how many cities are you coming to this year? This year we're focused on two, and that's primarily because of our client events, such as Green Sports, Green Electronics Council. Right. There's so many other events that we're doing that it's actually booked our schedule full. So we haven't been able to do any more Go Greens, but we are working on adding some new ones for next year. Next year, for 2016. Yes. San Diego. And San Diego next year. Yes. It's still but going back to Portland and Seattle again. Yes, always in Portland and Seattle. And for our audience members out there that want to go or attend, one of Erica's amazing conferences. You can go to www.gogreenconference.net. Gogreenconference.net. So now you've started it, and talk a little bit about your journey the last seven years since 2008 and sustainability, and how have your conferences grown and evolved, and what's your own take on sustainability over the last seven years? Great question. So I think the main thing that we've seen, so we've always had interest from the private sector, so Mm. businesses want to know about best practices around sustainability. So right. that's always, there's always been an interest there. But what I think we've added, and, and it's much more a 50-50 split now, is public sector leadership. So the mayors, the city council members, the people that are actually leading our government uh. come together with the businesses and we make sure that we have public sector representation on every session sitting with the business community so that we can see how they can work together to drive these initiatives forward. So that's re- our main goal in life. We have to create action. And I know the mayor's coming in a little yes, while. In a so minutes. Right. So <laughs> you, you put together these conferences that's a great point for our audience members out there that get inspired and want to come to one of your conferences next some of the the speakers and the thought leaders there big business government Mm small businesses yes. and other thought leaders, authors, and other type of uh, thought leaders. Yeah, anyone who can address best practices around sustainability for business and the public sector. So it's really just a great conglomeration of people that are solution providers. Exactly. Working together to make the world a better place. Yes. That's awesome. And it is regionally focused. So you'll notice that all the companies here today are based in Washington State. Ah, oh, that's a great so point. So that anybody from even from other states can come and learn from what Washington State's doing. That's right. So each state we're in, it is regionally focused. And New York is focused on the tri-state area, Oregon, and Portland. So it's it's a regional focus. How has it evolved in terms of size in, in seven years? You're an entrepreneur, really. You're an ecopreneur. Yes. This is your ecopreneur um, you know, gift to the world. How has it evolved in size and scope? So it's actually held pretty steady um, because it's a decision maker audience. So literally CEOs from these small and bus- medium businesses attend and okay. then people who head up departments at larger organizations. Wow. So right around five to 600 since 2008. Wow. Stay steady uh, and every every time we do it. Um, so it's, it's really, it's truly, you know, it's just the, the right mix of people to That's actually so create nice. action around these And topics. how many thought leaders come in our speakers? How many speakers do you have typically at each event? 50 to 60 for the day. 50 to 60. That's yes. a lot to curate though. Yes. And we usually interview 200 to get to the 50. Wow. So we make sure that their story really stands out because everyone here is a leader. So we have to make sure their story stands out as a case study before we put them on stage. But even if you're not a CEO of a company, you could come to one of your conferences. Absolutely. So yes. they, again, they could go to Go Green Conference and buy a, buy a ticket to come to the Portland Conference. Yes. 
Gotcha. Yes. Got it, got it, got it. Um, talk a little bit about issues that you like to focus on. How do you curate your issues and come up and keep it interesting and fresh for the world that's constantly evolving and the sustainability issues that we have that constantly need addressing? So the number one thing is that we have a local expert advisory team. Ah. So literally King County is our big partner here. So we have 20 people from King County that really advise on topics that they're covering in their departments. In addition to private sector leaders, so getting a true mix from all the different industries, getting their expert opinion on what their issues are, that's what we end up covering is based oh. on the feedback from them. So we actually take and we create an outline with that advisory team and then send a call out to our huge business audience here in the state. They submit ideas and then that's how we craft such an amazing program. So even though you're covering so many global issues of importance, you're keeping it very local with your advisory team and also with thought leaders from the local community. Exactly. Wow. Do you, you know, we've never been to a conference like this. It's curated the way you've done this. Or do you have competition in other regions across the United States? Definitely. I mean, there's a lot of global sustainability events like Green Biz is okay. one that covers a lot of the same topics we do. Okay. But they have speakers from all over the place where we focus on the region that we're in. The region. So when you're in New York, you will see only speakers from New York, which of course, those are global companies. So That's it ends right. up being a global conference, right. but a local audience. What do you what do you feel is, it, how are you going to take it to the next level besides geography and next year, hopefully adding San Diego and maybe other cities? How, how are you going to take it to another level in terms of um, what's your vision for Go Green? in the years ahead when you start thinking about a three and a five year plan? I think getting more cities on board, so really spreading it to the places that need it most. Portland right. and Seattle are the choir. Right. Every, you know, there's a lot of action around Green. Wow. Here, so they don't need it as much as, say, Phoenix. It's true. Or other places that don't have as much going on. So I think if we Great can spread point. our message a little farther to different cities that really need it, maybe smaller cities um, would be a good thing. And then I think, too, for us is, as a company, social enterprises, industry-specific conferences around the higher education, um, uh, sports industry like Green Sports Alliance. So we're really supporting other conferences in this arena um, to focus on nice industries. You. So, so, you're being, so your organization, Social Enterprises, is being hired by other organizations to run great events like this because you're, you've got the, now the reputation in exactly. sustainability. Yeah, it's essentially what we're doing here at Go Green, but industry specific. Wow. That's so, and how many other events are you doing this year outside of of the Go Green, so approximately. We do, we're doing a total of about 12. Whoa. So, One this, a month keeps you size. very, very, very busy. Yes. More than across yes. the country. Yes. As we know, the sports one in, is in Chicago. And yep. When is the Portland event coming up? Coming up in October. So October, October 6th. October 6th. So if you want to buy tickets to the October Go Green Conference, that's www.gogreenconference.net. And can you give a little sneak preview on some of the issues you're going to be tackling there? Yeah, so the number one thing in Portland, and this is really based on government and public, uh, private sector input, social equity and diversity will be our theme for the third year running. Social so equity and diversity. So we will have at least one track of topics dedicated to social equity and diversity. So Just like the session we had here, it was, right. it's fascinating. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of a complex topic area to cover, and so really relying on the experts in those arenas to help us come up with the topics we should cover, but we will definitely have a focus in probably at least three to five sessions. Got Gotcha. Um, on, the, on those topics. Gotcha. Any final thoughts for our audience members before we say goodbye and get you with the mayor? Yeah, you know, I would say we just, we really, re we rely on input from our community. So anyone watching this, if you have ideas for things that we could cover, you know, that's what we want to know. Like, what are we missing? You know, what could we, be, you know, new things that we could think out of the box to make it so that it's interesting and innovative so that people actually take action. And for our city leaders that, are, that get to watch us or city council members that get to watch us across the United States, are you taking also invitations to come to their city as well? Yes, absolutely. Gotcha. Yes, would we want to come to your city. Want to get big or small? <laughs> big or small. How about international? Do you have international aspirations? Yes, we would love that. Really? Yes. Which way do you want to go first? Across the Atlantic or across the Pacific? I'm thinking Atlantic. Probably. Atlantic? I think that's probably the way to go. Really? Yeah. That's so interesting. Just, there's some, some cities that I think would be really interested if we had the right contacts and commitment right, from the right, government. So it right. just depends on how willing they would be that's to support so exciting. our efforts. So. so October 6th, October 6th. in Portland. Yes. We're going to be there with you. Yes. We great. want you to be there with us too. So you go on www.gogreenconference.net and you could be there as well. Erica Dickey Nelson, you are a sustainability and green superstar and truly living proof that green is good. Thank you so much for inviting us here today. We're so excited to share the journey with you. Same. Thank you very much. Thank you.